Hey, welcome to this shortwave radio channel. And today we're going to have a look at doing a little correction on the frequency when you're listening on the uh, Soft 66 uh, SDR. Now, whatever SDR you're using, if you notice that when you want to tune a signal, see here I've got CHU, which is actually off frequency by one megahertz. It should be 7850 on my display, but it's 7849. Well, you need to apply a correction of frequency. Most SDRs are off a little bit, except for the more expensive ones that often are much closer to the reality, but you know, like an inexpensive Soft 66 will be off by, um, you know, several hundred hertz to, you see here, one kilohertz. Another thing that you'll see with an SDR is that, for example, a cheap SDR like the Soft 66 will drift for the first 30 minutes to an hour. So it will really maintain a stability in frequency about 30 minutes after it's been uh, warmed up. So how do you uh, correct this? First of all, you need a reference. You need a, f a station of a known frequency. And so the best stations for that usually are time signal stations like WWV, CHU Canada or any other because their accuracy and frequency is usually the best. But any station that you are sure of its accuracy and frequency will work. It could be a shortwave broadcasts that you know that it's okay and they are exactly on frequency that you've listened to in, the, in another radio maybe. Once you've found that station and you've tuned it, so you see here, I've got the CHU here, which shows up on the display here at 7849 at 158 kilohertz. It needs to match the 7850 that I have here. So it needs that line here needs to move to 7850 in order to be correct. So on HDSDR, you have the extended IO driver here that you can click on and look at the bottom it says frequency correction parts per million what you can do is simply take the sliders the up or down buttons and click and watch your display and by the way if you have your display set too small say you've set it like this it's kind of hard to tune so zoom in and the spectrum here zoom in on your signal so that you can see it better it's more accurate where it is and fetch the frequency where it is and bring it up to the frequency it should be on the display so the 7850 is here so continue clicking on the frequency correction until the red line from the station is on 7850 so here now if I click 7850 pretty accurate pretty close and so here it says my correction at 15 parts per minute per million now you might need to recorrect it a little bit afterwards now there's even more correction that you can add because each mode will have its own offset so yes there's their general frequency correction here and that's what we're looking at but there is a frequency correction for each mode inside HDSDR, and we'll look at that in another video. But at least here, it's to show you how to tune your Soft 66 so that it's accurate. In my own experience, once you've set it accurately to a frequency, the accuracy stays pretty much on all the bands. So whatever station you're tuning should be pretty much on dot of the frequency. You see here 12160 WWCR uh, 15610 which is the other. You see it's slightly off. It's moving a bit. So there's a little of uh, a little bit of you know correction that you can add but you know it's it's very small so it, it, it's okay. You don't necessarily need to do it. There's a slight you know but at least it's pretty close and your display will show the correct frequency when you click on it. So it becomes much better to use this uh, SDR in this manner. So at least you see here Voice of Africa that's coming in is on the frequency of 
75 and it is pretty much close close enough that the frequency displayed is good and that's okay so remember the panel for the correction and the frequency is the extended IO driver here and go into frequency correction at the bottom simply change the parts per million it should be pretty close throughout the shortwave band um, but of course like I said tuning upper or lower sideband might have a slight difference so uh, depending on what you want to tune you can actually put a correction on each mode if you want so that's how you apply frequency correction on HDSDR using the soft 66 and if you have any other um, HDR and use HDSDR and see that it's off in frequency go apply a correction on your specific driver uh, depending on the SDR you're using the driver might be a different one here but whatever driver you're using should have a frequency correction in parts per million if you enjoy my videos want to subscribe to my channel you'll be informed when new videos are online give us thumbs up if you like the videos and hope this helps you in fine-tuning your soft 66 RTL SDR receiver.